Howdy folks, this is Sean Skellinger, CEO of Skelly Build. This video is going to show how you can successfully set up job costs and communication between Builder Trend and QuickBooks Online. In my opinion, the hardest part of implementing a project management software is exactly this, setting up job costing. So I've created this video to help you. So in four simple steps and in about 20 minutes, you can successfully set up your job costing communication between Builder Trend and QuickBooks Online. Now, before I get started, I'd like to thank Build and Bundle. Do you want to win more jobs? Build and Bundle is made for builders and architects. They elevate your business with ready to use templates designed by industry veterans. Save time and resources while showcasing your professionalism. Build and Bundle will save you time, cut your marketing costs, and win you more jobs. Buy templates today at buildandbundle.com. So let's dive into it. There are four steps to setting up job costing between Builder Trend and QuickBooks. And I'm going to walk you through these four steps as well as provide you with the Excel templates that you need to actually accomplish this, this during our videos. So the four steps are step one, upload a chart of accounts in QuickBooks. Step two, upload products and services in QuickBooks. Step three, upload cost codes in Builder Trend. And step four, manage the QuickBook cost codes in Builder Trend. So step one, uploading your chart of accounts. So your chart of accounts in QuickBooks is your balance sheet and income statement. And as you know, in construction, you have three parts to your income statement. You have all your income, you have your cost of goods services, which is labor and materials and other job related costs, and then you have overhead. So this Excel that I'm about to show you will establish these necessary accounts uh, in QuickBooks. All right, so this is the chart of accounts. And you can see the chart of accounts starts with your balance sheet. Um, you have your bank accounts, your AR, other current assets, fixed assets, then you're on to your liabilities, accounts payable, credit card, other current liabilities long-term liabilities, and then equity. Uh, so from 100s to 300s, that's your balance sheet. 400s is gonna be your income, be residential construction income, design income. Then you're gonna have your cost of goods sold. So direct job costs. Um, and then you're gonna have your, let me make this bigger for you, there we go. Your actual subcontractor costs. Um, so that's, Again, all of your, what I'm gonna call cost codes, appliance install, uh, cabinetry, carpet installation, concrete, construction clean, countertops, all this is gonna hide under your subcontractor labor in your direct job costs, which are in the 500s. And then you're gonna have your indirect costs. Uh, so this would be any field, uh, cell phones, education, then you're going to have your overhead costs and your GNA. Uh, so this is essentially the chart of accounts that we use on our income statement. And you may be far enough along with QuickBooks that you already have this set up. But for those that aren't, this is a great start to your business. And it's going to be pretty simple using this Excel, uploading it to QuickBooks. Okay, to get the spreadsheet, you're going to go to buildandbundle.myflowdesk.com slash spreadsheets, and I'll put this in the instructions below, but it's buildandbundle.myflowdesk.com slash spreadsheets. So in this portal, you're going to put your name and your email address. and you're going to be emailed the spreadsheets.
and they'll download to your computer as a zip. And then you will open up the spreadsheets. And here they are. So we're going to start with the chart of accounts. Let's head back to QuickBooks and upload the document. So to get to chart of accounts, you're going to click settings and then chart of accounts. You're going to click import and right here you're going to select the CSV or Excel file, click browse. Then you're going to find the chart of accounts that you saved and you're going to click next. So because of the name of the fields, it's going to say it knows the detail type, the account name, and the type. We do not need the account number. So once you do that, click next, and that is going to map your data into your chart of accounts. You are officially done with step one, which is upload chart of accounts into QuickBooks. And now we're going to focus on step two, which is upload products and services into QuickBooks. So in step one, we established the income statement and balance sheet and all of the uh, expense related to cost codes. And so step two is now defining those um, cost codes in QuickBooks. And we do that through products and services. So for example, in Builder Trend, when your cost code is a, let's say, plumbing, when you send plumbing to QuickBooks, QuickBooks scans the products and services and sees that plumbing is one of your services that you offer. And then inside of that plumbing service in QuickBooks, it knows what income statement to allocate that income to and also what expense statement on the income statement in the chart of accounts to allocate that plumbing cost code too. So that's all to say, let's just upload the information and make it easy on ourselves. So we're gonna go into more, I'm sorry, we're gonna go into new, we're gonna say batch imports. So again, I've got another Excel for you that looks like this. It's got a lot of information on it. So what it's saying is um, these are all the names of the products and services, which is essentially the cost codes, right? So in a job, you're going to have a majority of these cost codes, obviously depending on your scope. But these are, you know, 62 cost codes that we think are the most popular uh, for our job. So this is the name. This is the type. These are all service types. Um, this is a single. Um, just a single service that we're pulling in. Uh, in your state, you're gonna have different taxable items, and this is probably from a sales tax standpoint, so you do wanna know your sales tax and know when to report it, and you can tell this, the service what is to be reported as sales tax here. And then as we move over, you're gonna see the price and the cost per service is zero. And that's because we do not establish our pricing on the QuickBooks side. Instead, we establish our pricing per each service on the estimate side in Builder Trend. So you'll notice that all of these services, which are subcontracted, we have a zero price and a zero cost on the QuickBooks side. So for all these, we just have the uh, remodeling billings as the income statement, but the expense side, we get into much more detail. We actually break every service up into the subcontracted uh, service so that our income statement can show us where we're spending most of our money and we can uh, dive into who is getting most of that money and kind of get some um, data feedback on our income statement 
from having these costs broken out into subcontractor costs. Now that we've got the Excel uploaded to our computer, we're going to upload the file into Products and Services by going to Settings, Products and Services. Um, then here's our Products and Services page. We're going to go to the New and then Batch Import. So that's going to pop up the Batch Import Products and Services. This is how you'd add it in manually. We're just going to import the file by clicking Import CSV it's going to ask you for only a CSV file. The CSV um, format is the format for the document that you downloaded from Build and Bundle. So you just click Browse and then you're going to find that document called Products and Services. And once you get it uploaded, you're going to click Next. Now, the system will automatically fill in the QuickBook fields with the CSV column headers. Uh, so you're going to see all these green checks. The quantity as of date is left blank because we're not an inventory business. Uh, we are just concerned about uh, the actual services going in and not products. So we're going to leave that one blank and go to next. All right. So it brought in a lot of information, but it didn't bring everything. So sometimes this happens. Um, you see the income account and the expense account is blank. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill in the manually fill in the income account and the expense account. So for the uh, income account, it's very simple. It's that exact same count. Uh, construction income, um, remodeling billings is your income account, which is going to go all the way down for all of them. The expense account is different though. The expense account is broken up into that cost code. So whatever the cost code name is, appliance installation, that's what that this expense account is going to be. So let's find the expense account for you. So we have a whole bunch of accounts that you don't need to worry about, but the subcontractor labor is in the 500 and I'm going to find appliance installation. There it is. That was that is the chart of accounts account that we're connecting the appliance installation service to. Uh, so this is going to be the most manual part of this and sometimes QuickBooks uploads everything, sometimes it doesn't. So you know if worst case scenario you're going to have to go through these and you're going to have to uh, manually add the expenses but again it's the name of the service. So we go into 500s, we go into subcontractor labor, and this one is architectural restoration. Perfect. The next one is abatement. So because this is more of a, the, the most manual process of um, my tutorial, I would recommend you pause it so you can complete all of this before you move on. Here's the best dose abatement. And so on and so forth. Once you're done with the income and the expense, then you're going to click save down here in the bottom right corner. And that All right, at this point in time, we have completed step one and step two. We have uploaded a chart of accounts and we have uploaded the products and services. Both of these are in QuickBooks. Now we're going to move on to step three, which is upload cost codes, and this is going to be in Builder Trend. So now we're going to switch over to Builder Trend. So in the top right corner of your Builder Trend, you're going to go to Company Settings. Uh, this is going to take you to all of your company settings. You're going to go under cost codes. So you likely don't have many cost codes, if any. Um, we have a lot, so I'm going to close these. And what I'm going to do is go to import. So we're going to import from Excel. So again, you need an Excel that has the cost codes. Here is the... 
Excel. So it's got cost category as general and then cost codes. So again, these cost codes match the information that we put in. So it matches the chart of accounts, the actual expense accounts, it matches the products and services. So this is really step three, which is putting these accounts on the filter trend side. We're going to input this Excel. Okay, so there is a template, but we already have the template, so we're going to click Browse. And we're going to go to BT Cost Codes. It is going to import all those cost codes. And it's going to say they're all under general, and all of these cost codes are going to be uploaded. So you're going to click Add Cost Codes, and those are going to be saved onto the cost codes portal of your builder trend. All right, now uh, we're done with step three. So, so far we've uploaded the chart of accounts in QuickBooks, we've uploaded the products and services in QuickBooks, and we've uploaded the cost codes in Builder Trend. Now, the final step is to manage the QuickBook costs in Builder Trend. So, let's get started on that. And how we're going to do that is we're going to click these three dots under More. And this says Manage QuickBook Codes. So we're going to click Manage QuickBook Codes, and these are all of our cost codes. So we're going to go to our cost codes, and you can see how I have linked some of them to QuickBooks and not all of them to QuickBooks. So what I'm going to do is you don't have as many as I do, which is fine, but you probably have appliance installation, architectural restoration, asbestos abatement, um, AV, etc. So you're going to go through these and you're going to click edit link and then what you're going to do is you're going to find the products and services which you shouldn't have as many as me, you should have the 60 that we uploaded and then once you click the appliance installation you click save and you're going to do that all the way down. You're going to do that for all of the cost codes that you have in here and that is simply just going to link them from Builder Trend to QuickBooks. All right, congratulations. You've officially completed the job costing connection between Builder Trend and QuickBooks Online. So I want to thank you for your time. I hope this was helpful for you and your business. Uh, finally, I'd like to thank Build and Bundle for their sponsorship of this educational series. I highly recommend using their templates. I think they've done a great job. Uh, being able to help you elevate your service, win more jobs, and make more money. So thanks so much, and feel free to reach out if you have any questions.